Okay, and here we are in the first deathmatch game in this mini best of three. As I already said, it's Japanese and Persians. So here in blue we're looking at interdimension and he is up against influenza. So Persians against Japanese and in purple. Obviously we have Japanese against Persians. That's Xuma against Dark Devil. Light Cavalry is already here, slowing the villagers down. Uh, Halberdier coming out, but went into the wrong direction. And yeah, the Light Cavalry killed one villain. Siege Workshops coming up. Not wasting time, he just got a barracks to kill this yeah, light calf here and two castles already first few halves okay he's not sending them out he's just patrolling in this area by the looks yeah going back unlike um purple so purple is sending his halberdiers forward first few halves from Dark Devil probably just as meat shields here so that the heavy scorpions in the back can do their damage. And there's a nice hill between teal and um, blue. And it looks like blue wants the control over it. Green going back. Siege workshops coming up. Yeah, it definitely shows. I know um, Dark Devil and Influenza as random map players, but they surely have practiced uh, some deathmatch here. Doesn't look bad at all. And there's the first few war elephants from Dark Devil. There, there are beasts really, 700 and sorry, 620 HP, 3 plus 4 PS armor, 20 plus 4 attack. It's it's crazy. Now yeah, these scorpions here will die to the castle. And a defensive trebuchet here, I like that idea. Japanese trebuchets, they pack and unpack so fast, so why not use them as, well, ranged units against the other army? Dark Devil moving forward, getting a forward castle on this small hill. Uh, not a good fight. The scorpions were not shooting and the elephants just ran straight into the halves. Blue already walling the side. Same goes for Influenza. Dark Devil... Doesn't have that many elephants around. He's massing some more behind the castle now. How is it going with the gold? Ah, oh, purple was harassing here a little. Forcing red to get quite some units here. Okay, he's moving them. Oh, and this looks like a strong push now from blue. Sea trams have docked already, and the castle is down. War elephants all over the place, and yeah, these halves from uh, Influenza just join the battle one by one. It's not really efficient, especially with the. Uh, heavy scorpions shooting from the back. Here, yeah. I mean, in theory, the same stuff should be happening on both sides, but the Persian player here is just not pushing as fast as uh, the blue Persian player. So it looks like Influenza will, will die sooner or later, while Teal is still, well, defending properly and 
Red is not making any progress. Yeah, sea trams take out buildings so fast. Three more in the back. Yeah, they're sharing the resources, tributing whoever needs needs something bad. Bug Devil trying to, to push in now, but it, it still looks really good for for purple. And Influenza is dropping in score. 53 population, 7,000 score, while everyone is above 10k. And yeah, Blue is, is rocking really, and he's on 13,000 score. More and more barracks coming up for Influenza. But yeah, this is not too many scorpions, but they still they're able to take out so many halves. It's not even funny. He should maybe get um, an onager out of these siege workshops and try to kill the scorpions from the back. But yeah, I don't know. And blue is sending help over. Some, oh, some, not only some, quite a few war elephants and. Yeah, that is six siege rams. Okay, here's an onager. Just what I wanted to see. Some monks out now, but I don't see any, any war elephants. Oh no, here they come. So let's hope for influenza that he can convert a few. And Dark Devil uh, is in a defensive position now. He was about to push against Purple, but now he needs to defend his castles. And this castle here... Ooh. Okay, stays up. 700 HP left. Yep, I can see... Was that one or two converted? No. Yeah, two or three even. Elephants converted, so good job. Influenza can defend for the moment. Putting up a good fight here. Let's compare the trade. Oh yeah, it looks like purple really focused on the trade here. And here is a, a market closer. Not at the edge of the map because, yeah. Purple went there and did some damage. And yeah, look at the scorpions. He's going for the trade again. Really wants to, to kill the trade there. Okay, another conversion. Mm -hmm. Even converted the scorpion. Influenza on 173 population. Let's maybe check the village accounts. Is that even possible? 149 villagers. Maybe it counts in the trade cards. Must be. Um, 135 for Xuma, 78 for Dark Devil, and 66 for Influenza. So as you can see, the economies are much better developed for the straight team here. And here comes another push from blue. Sea trams, heavy scorpions and war elephants. We've <laughs> seen that before. Dark Devil only with one trebuchet, it's gonna take forever to destroy a castle that's on a hill and has all upgrades. And still converting a lot of elephants. And GG has been called. The trade was impossible at the end, and yeah.
blue was all over Influenza. And yeah, I gotta give credit to Purple as well. He was defending so well against Persians with Japanese. So strong play from both players here, Interdimension and Xuma. Going through the achievements really quick. Shouldn't be anything surprising here. Maybe the sling. Xuma was sending 8,000 resources. Influencer was sending 5,500, so small difference there. Yeah, a villager high, 149 and 135. Okay, going back. So again, this is a mini best of three. That means one team has to win two death matches uh, to get one point on the scoreboard. Looking at the chat, it looks very fast. Yes, the game is played in fast speed. Um, that is common for deathmatch. Just, well, became normal over the years. Okay, and here's the second deathmatch game between Straight and the that Samora team. Now the civilizations are team random. That means both for or the same for both teams, Byzantines and Vikings. So in blue, there's interdimension again, and he is facing green. That is. Vikings against Byzantines, so it's a mixed matchup again. I always love it when that happens. I, I think mixed matchups are are more interesting, or yeah, usually result in better games. There's a pikeman. He should kill the hussar. Yep. This time he didn't lose a villager. Good job. Oops, that was the fog of war. So what kind of units are coming out for Byzantines? I think that's always interesting because Byzantines have such a great tech tree, they get almost everything. Here for example we have Paladins coming out from the player in blue and here the player in red, also as Byzantines, is going for Champions and Arbalest, so a completely different strategy. Now he's adding more stables. And with Vikings, yeah, Vikings are more limited in Imperial. They get heavy scorpions, they get arbalests, they get sea trams. Later on maybe it's it's worth going for berserkers. But yeah, that is mostly it. Okay, Red is moving out with his first few units. I 
and just a couple of units here from purple shouldn't do a lot damage. It's just three arbalests, so yeah, never mind. Blue is pushing in hard with paladins. And oh, I can see some dead bodies there. I think Influenza lost some villagers. I can only see two villagers building in the back. Here yeah, this castle got denied. Two archers keeping the villagers away and Seatram taking it out. So yeah, the Influenza is in trouble. More and more coming in from blue. like the red army has died here to uh, mainly pikemen, arbalests and onagers. Ooh, these onager shots hurt. I think that just died seven or so arbalests with one shot. Yeah, good micro there. Wow. Influenza is... If you can't get this castle up, then it's over, I think. Yeah. But it just died. Lost everything. Cataphracts joining. And, yeah, this is genius. On paper, Byzantines are so much stronger than Vikings, but... Um, look at that. Purple is actually winning against Red here. And GG has been called. Yeah, it was over for Influenza rather quickly and Purple playing it really smart. Winning with uh, Vikings against Byzantines. Okay, so GG. This was a 2 to nil in the deathmatch mini best of 3, updating the scoreboard. 2-3 to nil.